and welcome to the 2018 National Train Show in Kansas City, Missouri. We've got a lot of great products to see, so let's get started. New items in N and H O scale are coming from Kato USA, and here to fill us in on the details is Alex Kovac. And Alex, let's start in N scale. You have the Spirit of the Union Pacific engine. Sure, thanks, Cody. So yeah, so we have our first sample of the uh, Spirit of the UP 1943 unit. This is just a shell sample, so it's not a complete sample. But as you can see, this will give you an idea of what the detail is going to look like. It's really beautiful. These are sold out already, so you can tell all the demand for it. So we're really looking forward to this engine. And the one cool thing is the paint scheme, Alex. I mean, it's just a really beautiful paint scheme, and I'm sure it's really an involved process. I mean, it's gorgeous, and Japan had a really interesting time getting this done. As you can see, like the, just from the first sample, they did a really great job on it. It's very unique. It's very gorgeous. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. And Alex, when do you anticipate the actual models coming in? Okay, so we'll have the first models coming in in October. Uh, we're going to have available in DC, DCC, and DCC with sound. And you have the DCC and sound units coming out in November. And Alex, HO scale commuter fans have a lot to look forward to with the Northwestern bi-level gallery cars. Yes, absolutely. This was a highly anticipated item from a lot of our fans. We're really excited to re-release these. This is our HO Chicago Northwestern bi-levels. These are going to be available, obviously, in the cab coach, a uh, four-window coach, and a six-window coach as well. So again, these are highly anticipated. These are going to be out in January of next year, 2019. And Alex, are these going to have some of the features of other Kato passenger cars, so the ability to add the lighted marker lights, interior lighting, things of that nature? Yeah, so these will come as a base unit. They won't have interior lighting, but you have the ability to add interior lights to them, so it have a nice little feature to the layout. So if you're looking for like a nice night scheme, you'll have a nice interior lighting to it. Um, so yeah, all, all the standard features that Kato has to offer with the add-ons and whatnot. And when can modelers start looking for these in hobby shops? These are going to be available in January of 2019, so we're looking forward to that date. And Alex, if modelers want to learn more about the Cotto product line, they can head online? Always at uh, www.cottousa.com. We have all the information on there. Uh, come visit our website. Of course, give us a call. We we'll always look forward to talking to our customers. All right, Alex, thank you for your time and have a great show. Thank you so much. You too. We're over at the Walther's booth and a lot of new exciting products coming out. And here to tell us about it is Zach Thompson. And Zach, a couple of Walther's mainline freight cars I want to start with an HO scale. Yeah, we've got a brand new Thrall rebuilt 40-foot well car in Walther's main line. Um, and at the show here, we're displaying single units, single car units um, that are coming out very soon. And then we're actually going to be doing a new run of new numbers of those same kind of schemes. But then we're actually announcing a brand new tool, a five-unit articulated version of this same car with five different paint schemes. And Zach, looks like it has die-cast metal construction. What are some of the other features? Uh, we've got a lot of molded details that are on the ends. You can kind of see them here with the sample that we've got, because this is a pre-production sample that's not painted up yet. Um, but the nice part is with that, with that die-cast body, it's got a lot of weight. So whether it's running loaded or empty, uh, it actually tracks very, very well. And Zach, next up we have this new 60-foot high cube plate F box car. An exciting model, something you see a lot rolling by on modern trains today. You want to tell us about those too, please? Yeah, these are great cars. Um, it's a car that's seen everywhere right now, and this, tr this turned out to be our most popular announcement in the last couple of years. Um, so the units that you see here today are actually sold out. That's from our first run that's coming out in October. We're going to be doing some new numbers on those same schemes. We're going to be bringing those back out. But then we've also announced some brand new paint schemes uh, for March 2019 delivery here that you can see on this poster. And Zach, what are some of the features on this box car? Well, it's got some separate door latch hardware that really makes it stand out and make it look realistic. Um, even though it's got molded on detail, it's very fine detail. And then it's got the correct roof profile with the correct roof um, layout so that it, it's got both types of roof panels, uh, which makes it accurate. And Zach, of course, your layout control system's been really popular, and you've made a couple exciting new additions to that range. We have, because we recognize that people have limited space underneath their layout. So we're now introducing a brand new horizontal mount switch machine, which uh, makes it more easy to use in a compact space. It's the exact same layout control system switch, uh, but just with a different configuration. And you also have a new product that can be used with the Tortoise by Circuitron uh, switch motor. 
Right, it's a stall motor driver. Uh, basically what it does is a servo hookup to our system, to the Walters layout control system, and it will um, do the same kind of features with controlling in a DCC mode, uh, and then it works with existing tortoise switches. So they, they kind of piggyback together, they work together, and then if you already have an install installation of that switch, um, if you want to install new switches with the Walters layout control system, you can do that and then hook the two together. And when will these products be hitting hobby shop shelves? Uh, sometime early next year, 2019. All right, Zach. Well, hey, a lot of great, exciting things to look forward to. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Cody. Well, we're over at the Bachman booth, and there are exciting items in four different scales. And here to fill us in on the details is Larry Harrington. And Larry, let's start with the HO scale. You have a new steam locomotive featuring a new sound system. Exactly. Uh, we are doing our K4 model in HO, but this time we put a streamlined look on it. Um, we have that coming out in four road names, just like the prototype. We are using a wow sound decoder, um, full blown decoder with lots of features, keep alive and lots of different sounds to select from, um, just like we did in our ACS 64 last year. Um, that's just the shipping, by the way. Uh, also in our N scale, where we have shipping with Economy, the SD9 um, locomotive in five paint schemes. Um, switching over to, let's see, large scale. We have a 460 coming out, but we don't have samples of that at this time, but we do have a couple of new egg liners to show you, a Bumblebee and a Christmas scheme. When well, last year's Christmas scheme sold out, so we come out with another one. And ON30, up top we have an 060 switcher in five different paint schemes. And Larry, if people want to find out more about the products announced at the train show here, they can go online, right? Right. We have on our main website, we have a downloadable brochure. You just go to the top link, it says catalogs and brochure, and there's a link for the NMRA. You can either view it online or download a PDF. All right, Larry, well, a lot of exciting products coming out. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Well, Woodland Scenics is innovating with scenery products once again, and here to fill us on the details is Diana Horman. Diana, the new field system. You know, Woodland Scenics has been known for scenery for many, many years. Why this? Why now? Good question. Great question. You know, um, obviously, when we drive along, we see fields and pastures and meadows. And we realized in our line, we didn't have anything to help model that. And we're always looking for the next best thing. So we came out with the field system. And the field system, we needed a way to model tall grasses. So we came up with static grass. And you have a lot of different lengths and colors of static grass for all sorts of different situations. Yep, we do. We go from a dry brown, dry straw, to a lush green. And that those four colors can mesh really well together. And then we have four different sizes because you know not everything is a manicured lawn. So we want to be able to give those different heights to mimic your fields and your pastures, meadows, things like that. And in addition to the static grass, you also have some other scenic textures like briar patch, right? We do have a briar patch, and that's going to be like shrubs and thickets, anything that you're going to see along a field. And of course, the the uh, top of the program here would be the, the uh, static king, right? The grass, the grass applicator. Yeah, you're probably wondering how are we going to make that static grass stand up. The static king is how you do that. And the way that that works is that you basically apply a new adhesive that we have to the to the layout. You put the static grass in the static king, and when you turn it over, turn it on, it's going to cause that static grass to stand upright. And Diane, in addition to the uh, briar patch, you also have some new scenery textures and colors here too, correct? We do have some new ones and it's another special material and it's called plant hues. Plant hues is a very fine material that's going to be designed for creating seed heads. Um, it can highlight the static grasses and enhance contours by creating some shadows. If I can show you on this, give you an idea of what it is, you can see those seed heads that are being created by the plant hues. The plant hues have four different colors that come in a package. And when will products in this line start showing up in hobby shops? They're supposed to be here later this fall. All right, Dan, well, this is really exciting stuff. So the Field Sister from Woodland Scenics, thank you for your time. Thanks for your time, too. We've got new N and HO scale freight cars coming from Atlas Model Railroad Company and here to fill us in on the details is Steve Woodward. And Steve, let's start with the N scale. You've got a General American 4180 air slide. Yes. This is coming in three different body styles. This is a pre-production uh, sample. 
Um, this is due in probably third or fourth quarter of this year. Uh, a lot of interesting paint schemes. It's going to be a really exciting model. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. And I noticed looking at the, sh uh, the sample here that it looks like you got a nice mix of separately applied details and some etched metal details too. Yes. Uh, it, you can't see it on this sample. There will also be an etched metal cut lever. Uh, this will be a very highly detailed model. And Steve, paint schemes for this car will be announced soon? Yes, we should have an announcement out in September. And then we'll go to HO scale. You have the new Greenbrier 7550 boxcar, another real common modern air freight car that will help a lot of the guys modeling today's railroading. Absolutely. We're seeing a lot more activity in, model, in modern railroading. And, uh, and this is a, a perfect example of a car that you see everywhere. And, and not only do you see it everywhere, you see them in vast quantities. This is, a, this is a model that modelers don't need one or two of. Hopefully they need 12 or 24 of them. And we will offer them in, in those kinds of uh, numbers. And Steve, this car is going to have a lot of great separately applied details that we've come to expect from the master line. Absolutely. This is a very early pre-production shot. It will have etched metal detail parts, cut levers, stand-alone grab irons and stirrups, etc. This is, again, just a very early pre-production sample. And Steve, if people want to find out about these cars and all the great products Atlas offers across the scales, they can head on your website. Absolutely, atlasrr.com. Steve, great to see you as always, and thanks for your time. Likewise. Thank you, Cody. Well, hey, that wraps it up for our show coverage from Kansas City. We had a great time, and we'll see you back in Wisconsin.